here we go. Heading off to San, San Hollow. Hollow again. And then Moab. Okay, the gang is all here. We got Tony and uh, Lizzie in the motorhome and Alex and Ellie in the Fox camper. Ours is the Lance camper and Justin and Elvia in the Super Duty with the pop-up. It is like 28 degrees out here. And there's all the Jeeps. Oh gosh, right in the sun. Everybody's standing out, out here. I'm not, I'm not sure why everybody's standing out here freezing. We should be moving along. I know, Elvia was so a while ago. Oh, here we go. It turned out to be a beautiful day to travel. We were a little worried because the day before, or the evening before, there was a massive storm and road closures. So we all washed our trucks and our campers and our Jeeps. And just as we got to Tahoe and the snow line, there was a big tanker truck in front of us spraying stuff all over the road. It was wet and we weren't sure. It must have been like a sand salt mixture. So all our vehicles are filthy dirty. And unfortunately, they remained that way for the rest of the trip. Got some pretty good views now and then. Got Walker Lake over there. Got some snow-capped peaks over there. Looks like a lot of snow. Yeah. We do have a bunch of cattle getting ready to go. Now we're going to slow down. Slow down. Slow down. that one and he decides to go back home. A beautiful spot in Sand Hollow this time. And the water is really high. This water was not up this far in, in these channels. Last time we were here, and it, I don't know how far up it goes, but it looks like it goes quite a ways. So pretty. That is awesome. And there is Justin and Elvia. And here's our spot. Tony and Lizzie are over there. Hang on. Right there. And then Alex and Ellie are right across the way. So we all got our campers set up and decided to head out on the trails to see if we can find some cool obstacles. And we found some fun ones. And as always, these obstacles look a lot steeper and scarier than they are. This one actually had a, an extra challenge because when you looked straight ahead, the sun was right in your face and you couldn't see anything. The reason you don't see Tony and Lizzie is because she was driving the Jeep around to go uh, get a flag and her front caliper locked up. So they had to go to town and get it caliper so they could fix it. You're gonna go up a rock right there. 
Thankfully, nice. they were able to fix it fairly easily and were able to join us for the next couple it's of days. It's easier than it looks, for sure. Justin was breaking in brand new tires too, so they're slipping up quite a bit. Once they break in, they'll be a lot more grippy. You can really see all the yeah. stuff that got sprayed onto Good the job. roads up on uh, Justin's Jeep from him kind of spraying it up behind him onto the Jeep that was on the trailer. <laughs> Good job, honey.
Okay. Once that back wheel comes up, it'll, it'll, yeah, it'll come down. I told him he likes to do three wheel driving. <laughs> three wheeling. Yeah, he believes in himself, that's why. <laughs> He's great. Yay! We gotta get up top and get back down the road. Ah, it's cold. There you go. Straight. Keep going straight. Oh, she's. Yep, keep going. 
That was the end of the first day and we all had some fun and they experienced a little bit about what it's like to drive around at Sand Hollow. And we decided to head back to the campground because it was starting to get cold and we're all kind of tired from driving all day anyway. 